people have now known Apollo, but I don't think they do know how it all started. November 9th, I lost an young man who was only 38 year old. You know why? Because he couldn't afford to pay $30,000 and go to Houston and have surgery. If Indian doctors and Indian scientists are excelling overseas, why should we not give that expertise to our own people? I still recollect the day, 1983, September 1047, uh, 18th when uh, Jail Singh, former president of India, when he cut the ribbon, I think it just gave us an opportunity to demonstrate to the world that here Indian doctors, Indian nurses, Indian paramedical staff all have put in their best of uh, efforts and 20 years later you, 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 we now know that we have done and we are doing everything that's happening anywhere in the world. That is the pleasure. It is a comprehensive center with radiation and medical oncology surgery and one of the things we have done is bone marrow transplants as well. The first child of the parents who came to us with an acute leukemia and uh, we gave treatment and he got better but then he was the first child so we could not do a transplant, only child and then uh, unfortunately the boy relapsed again in about six months time. When he came back the family told us uh, that the mother was pregnant and uh, that we felt really is a God's will because at uh, that time we decided to do a cord blood transplant for the first time done in this country. He has been well now and uh, completely cured and going to school. We completed 25,000 cases and uh, this has included uh, patients as young as two days of age and as old as 88 years of age. To my mind, all the 25,000 were memorable cases. This little child was uh, dying. She had a very large hole in the heart and was in congestive heart failure and we operated on her when she was six months of age. Last year, her father sent me this photograph of her on a marriage day and I was so thrilled because this is the sort of difference that Apollo can make to the lives of ordinary people. Apollo is keeping abreast with the new technology to offer the best for the geriatric patients. I never felt that I was being operated. There was no pain, there was no complication, there was nothing. I did not move. It was really a very fine job that it has been done on an 84 year old man. Mayuri came to me one year ago. She was diagnosed to have a complicated brain tumor. She was diagnosed in Singapore. She was totally bedridden. She could not speak well. She could not eat well. She could not drink well. She went through eight cycles of chemotherapy. She underwent one another brain surgery with us. She improved very tremendously. I'm really glad to see her. Now it's one year now she can. She walks, she runs, you can't catch her. She can even sing and she can recite a lot of uh, you know beautiful songs also and <laughs> she is eating well i would say that the entire thing was possible only because uh, the parents had tremendous faith in apollo system actually i think i handed over mayuri to raja in a zero state and i never expected that mayuri is going to be like this in 400 days mayuri ji how are you <laughs> <laughs> and last year Mayuri was not talking, so that's what I want to show. That today she's you will call me. I'll call you. She can't even sit last year. You don't measure success by the numbers. What it has resulted a quantum change in the healthcare delivery in our country. I also commend the efforts of Apollo Hospitals Group in harnessing the potential of information technology for providing telemedicine services. Having completed 20 years, I think the Apollo model is something which is ready for India and the world to discover. The levels of professionalism and the kinds of service that the Apollo system is able to offer is something that the rest of the world could both learn from and benefit from. Today, this, we have achieved clinical excellence in almost all disciplines of medicine and surgery and brought in this cost-effectiveness 
and more than that, we are giving something which you can't buy with a Jewish market at all. We call, at the poor, we call that as TLC, tender loving care. Honestly, I have never been a believer in hospitals. I never thought I would ever enter a hospital. But after coming to Apollo, I really knew what was the meaning of good care, loving care, you know. And this is where I would like to specifically talk about the deep affection that the nurses have here. He was really at the deathbed at that particular time and moment of time. And uh, the doctors and nurses have done a wonderful job to completely bring him out of it. There's something very, very beautiful about life and it has to be preserved every moment. I can only say I have come here for a second lease of life. Reach out and touch It's simply magical Knowing you have the power of healing Every day, every night Saving lives by the minute Make it small and worth it Make your dreams come true By touching lives Touching life at a pole Make your dreams come true By touching lives Every day Touching lives at Apollo Making dreams come true dreams come By true. touching lives touching life. You have the power to heal Making dreams come true By touching lives Reach out and touch those lives Making dreams come true by touching lies Touching lies